One player props edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet $100 at WinBet and get a $100 free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W-Y-N-N-B-E-T to claim your free bet today. We're also brought to you by the Free Roll Football Contest. It is back and better than ever. $5,000 up for grabs in our NFL contest and $1,500 in our brand new college football contest. Sign up exclusively in our Discord, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. Welcome, everyone, to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? You and the production team is like watching me <laughs> and, and uh, the, the wife and the oldest daughter having some sort of a face off, a staring face off. That was a beautiful <laughs> game of chicken. I don't know if you won. I don't know who won that one. Yes, uh, we are live here in Las Vegas at the Blue Wire Studios. As you heard on the intro, we are going to be talking NFL Week One player props. Joining us, a uh, fellow prop master, Ryan Dalton Cates. What's up, Dalton? Thanks for coming on the show, man. Dude, I'm so excited to be here. Round two on the show, but this time we're in studio. We're doing it big. Uh, here's the thing: is last time I was on, I don't think like it could have gone any better. So the yes. expectations are so high you, right now. If you missed the episode where Dalton came on and just murdered. The draft pops, complete top to bottom, murder. What was your? I, I think your biggest murder. hit was uh, uh, Quay Walker, right? You I, gave out- a, I also had a forty to one. We did a exacto Trayvon oh, Walker, no. Hutchinson at second overall, and Let's third go. overall, Eric Stingley. Oh cash. man, cash machine. And then you had Quay Walker first linebacker drafted. That was also like thirty to one, right? Yeah, I got it at twenty seven to one. So oh, it was just, jeez. It was it was one of those nights where just every single thing went right for you. So like I'm kind of nervous right now because yeah. I feel like there's so much pressure. So well, I'm you know, as, as a you guy know, who's who's hit big bets and then the pressure to come back, it makes you stronger. <laughs> well, they, they say pressure makes diamonds <laughs> or coal. So let's not make some coal, Dalton. Ah. Oh. My voice sounds like Vegas. Yes, I have a little bit of that Vegas voice. <laughs> Even the humidifier can't defeat the Vegas voice. Hey, you want to experience Las Vegas in the <laughs> in the palm of your own hand? All you got to do is go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Again, get in on all these bets, on all this action, player props. Uh, Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, Virginia. Bet $100. Get that $100 risk-free bet. Let's go. Uh, Tons of great player props. Of course, we are going to be giving out win, build your own bet, a.k.a. SGPs, a.k.a. same game parlays. I know what you're thinking, Sean. It's been a while. The show's been going on. You haven't even mentioned that you hit your win bet 20 to 1 to start the season. Josh Allen over rushing yards. Bills adjusted line minus six and a half. Isaiah McKenzie anytime touchdown. Woo. That paid out 20 to 1 exclusively on sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash winbet. Offer subject to change. Terms and conditions at winbet.com must be 21 or older and present in the state where play through winbet is available. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. And we're also brought to you by the Elias Game Plan app. You know, I, I gave out the Isaiah McKenzie anytime touchdown. Part of it was some of the great nuggets I was pulling from the Elias Game Plan app. Uh, they had some good info on him. And again, you know the Elias Sports Bureau. They have all those great stats. You've heard them. They're the official stat keeper of the NFL, a bunch of other pro leagues. And now they've put uh, all their info uh, into one awesome app, the Elias Game Plan app. Use our promo code SGPN. You get a 14-day free trial off a, uh, you know, for a monthly, sorry, 14-day free trial for their monthly subscription plan. Again, sign up over, uh, download the Apple Ice Game Plan app and uh, in the App Store, Google Play Store, use the promo code SGPN. 
Get that 14 days free. You're going to love it. It's great for fantasy. Great for betting. All right. Sean, I was about to compliment your articulation this yes. late into a Vegas trip. And, <laughs> and then, then I you fumbled it, up. it a little bit. I, I did have to wake up at 7, 10 a.m. to call into someone's show <laughs> with Zoom. Um, I'm also sharing the room with my brother. So I like... <laughs> 7.25 this morning, I turn on all the lights. He's like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, I got to fire up the Zoom. Got to give out some hot takes. And we were out. Uh, shout out again to our good buddy, uh, Derek Stevens, always taking care of us over at the uh, Circus Sports. Went over there, went on a nice little uh, blackjack run. Although I gave some back. I ended up up on the blackjack run. Uh, Terrell, Ryan. I mean, I feel like a proud parent, you know, as as – as uh, as the founders of the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, it's always great to find employees that can really grow into their own and find their own way. And, and seeing Terrell go on that blackjack heater was really, I felt like a proud dad. I mean, first we saw him have his craps yes. uh, cherry popped in Detroit. <laughs> and now the blackjack, I mean, he literally, as it, like, he's, he might retire and become a pro blackjack player. Yes, he, he, was, was, he was seriously thinking about that. He's like, hey, you just do what the card says. You do what the card <laughs> says and you're good. I, I so think I easy. personally, not to take too much credit, but I think I personally willed like seven blackjacks yeah. for Terrell. It was, uh, it was awesome. And uh, I don't know, just going on a blackjack heater, just drinking a ton of Jameson ginger. It was, it was an all-time Vegas. And well, we're and only the, Friday. We got, we got to be here till Monday, right? But that's the bow on the present that was his blackjack heater was the text at 8 a.m. this morning that read, no more Jameson. <laughs> So, you know, it, yeah. it came all the way around. Jameson will really uh, set you down. Dalton, right. Enough um, pussyfooting, Sean. Yes, Let's go. We're going to give out five props, three from the early game, one in the afternoon, one of the well, Sunday night game. I, I, I ripped that up, actually. Okay. Sorry. I might have. <laughs> I set you up for failure there. Uh, all right. So I assume we're doing five props. <laughs> yeah, though? five props. Okay. And then we have a sleeper three-teamer and then a build-your-own-bet for uh -huh. win Sunday night and our first touchdown. Dalton, before we get into the props, I think we do have to talk about – uh, the Buffalo Bills dismantling. Oh, I thought you were going to say Trey Lance. The, well, no. We, I've, <laughs> the I, got, happy I had another 45-minute conversation with Trey, <laughs> about Trey Lance. Uh, it was actually the guy who co-hosts uh, Lombardi's podcast over on v <laughs> And we were, I, I, you know, just all over the place. It was, uh, it was great. I always, uh, I always love Trey Lance talking. We won't mention that Trey Lance isn't a, isn't a captain uh, or that George <laughs> Kittle's likely out, and that's going to hurt their offense. Um, Bills Rams 31 to 10. I I think there's some fantasy nuggets again. One of my sleeper player props. I know uh, Kramer was also on the fade Cam Akers train, yeah. but I mean I, I saw a stat Cam Akers same rushing yards as the Queen of England yesterday, <laughs> which is just a brutal twofer. The Queen <laughs> caught a lot of strays between Allen Robinson zero and Cam Akers zero. It was it was a tough day for the Queen. What you're, you're a big fantasy guy, big player props guy. Any surprises? Or were you high on Cam Akers? What are the takeaways from this season? I haven't drafted the Cam early. Akers anywhere. Yeah. Nowhere. Uh, he doesn't like running backs, Sean. Yes, haven't exactly. you heard? I don't think I've ever drafted a running back, so that's the thing. Yeah. That, that kind of throws it into there. I mean, the thing, the thing with Akers was he's coming off the Achilles. We've yeah. never seen a running back come off. And last year in the playoffs, he was legitimately Looked not horrible. good. Yeah. yeah. So, like, giving Henderson, they had 80, over 80% 80 of the snaps there. Like, he's going to be the guy. Kyron Williams is now out. For six to eight weeks like it looks like Henderson is legitimately like oh my God. going to be good yeah. he caught five passes and this is when the offense was bad now imagine a game in which they have positive game script where he's able to run more yeah. get some touchdowns in there like there's no reason why Henderson can't be like a dude a yeah back. I mean I was doing the um like a lot I feel like a lot of my best ball lineups if I got like a running back up top like a Christian McCaffrey or something and then D Daryl Henderson is like my second running back in a lot of these builds because I was just like Cam Akers isn't the guy, and you get Daryl Henderson on a good offense. It's crazy to me that he was going that late. I mean, he was going as high. Like, Cam Akers was going third round at yeah. some point. Like, as summer. of yesterday, people yeah. are doing their drafts. I mean, obviously, before yeah. the game. Ryan, you're doing your high-stakes um, FFPC draft today, later, which it's always interesting. They do it after that first game. What do you think are going to be, like, the craziest shifts from that game? I already talked to Dal – Dalton did a draft this morning, so I already talked to him. I I, – I, I would have guessed that Diggs would have like secured his spot in the top half of the first round, which you confirmed. And other than that, it's like Gabe Davis looks really good, so he's maybe not a fourth round guy anymore. Maybe he's a third round guy, which again, you, you I think you set the market on. You drafted Gabe Davis. Yeah, right? I thought I thought Gabe Davis yeah. was going to go end a second, so I got him like middle of the third round. I was pretty. Uh, and he, you know, the you know it's circulating, but he ran a route on every <laughs> single drop back with Josh Allen, so that that's a pretty good place to be. 
Um, Dog. But, yeah, I, I think the biggest news is the droppers, right? Allen yeah. Robinson is probably going to fall a bit. Cam Akers, did he go – did Cam Akers get drafted? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yeah, I mean, that, it, he, I, I know I was reading some stuff on Twitter. I, he was falling uh, past, like, 10, 11, 12, so – that's insane. <laughs> At to, go some from, point. Yeah. to go, he's from, just falling off a cliff. To right go now. from round three to round twelve without <laughs> getting injured <laughs> is really impressive. Uh, R.I.P. Cam Akers shares. All right, let's get to it. Let's give out some props for the big slate on Sunday. I'll kick it off. It's chalky as hell, but we've been all over this guy early on the process. Ryan, our mm. Texans, Damian Pierce, over forty-seven and a half rush yards. Uh, to me, this is like mostly a volume thing. Like I. I I mean, I am high on him as a, as a prospect. I think the guy runs hard, has good vision. My film work shows yeah, me Sean, that. Sean's a film guy. But he's going to get 15 carries. Like, no one else on this team, they're going to get carries. Like, Rex Burkhead maybe gets some pass work in there. But even him, like, Damien and, and this Texans team wants to run the ball a bunch. Like, the only thing I'm worried about long term is, like, maybe Nico Collins, um, Brandon Cooks aren't as good fantasy as we had maybe thought because they're going to be running the ball so much. But over 47 and a half rush yards. Sean, is, his anytime is plus 165. Yeah, that should tell you Do you, you like you that every, better? No, I actually, I, um, well, I, I, like, <laughs> I like both. But the fact that his anytime touchdowns plus 165, that shows you they know he's going to get the volume. Yeah. I mean, he's going to, even if he gets like three or four yards of carry, I think he hits this. So, all right. Kramer, what do you got? Uh, Baker Mayfield over one and a half touchdowns. Let's go. Full on, just fuck you mode. <laughs> One's going to be a dump off to Christian McCaffrey, so he just has to hit Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore. Maybe he shocks us with a little uh, Visca. Uh, yeah, no, come on. I'm, this was the first prop I wrote down. I was like, let me make sure the price Baker. is crazy. Yeah, yeah, the Baker only thing that one. might kill you is if he gets like a rushing touchdown. No, no. Um, that's kind of interesting. Brown, Dal- Browns have some question on the back end of that game. Dalton, what do you, what do you got? What's, what's, your, uh, what's your first one here? I got to go with my guy. I've been hyping him up. You think it's a different person than you think. It no. is not Kyle Pitts. Oh. Okay. It is Elijah Moore over. Yeah. 51 and a half receiving yards. And I'm also hitting some alternate lines as well. <laughs> Let's I want to know the one game in which Joe Flacco was a starting quarterback for oh, Elijah yeah. Moore. Yes. 141 yards. Yep. Nine catches, touchdown. It was beautiful. Yeah. He had a deep ball to Elijah Moore. And I think there's a world where they're playing from behind. So that they're, you know, they're going to have to be throwing a bunch a bunch of easy check down stuff to Elijah Moore. Oh yes. I mean, I like Are you a, on him? Elijah Moore? Uh, oh, cuz you had the you had the take he had basically same take on the DFS show. Yeah, no, he's I'm, in my DFS yeah. lineups, but I didn't uh, give out a problem. I'm on I'll jump ahead then. Yeah. I'm on the over four and a half catches cuz it's plus yeah. 105. Yeah, it's crazy. And the Ravens were like the the second worst team in explosive pass rate last year. So they had a terrible secondary last year. Elijah Moore without Zach Wilson. Averaged yeah. 2.92 yards per route run. Like, like, he was elite. legitimately good. And he was an elite prospect, too. They've been hyping him up in camp. Yeah. It's very easy to see Elijah Second Moore, like, up. absolutely break out. And we could legitimately see his line, like, every single week in, like, the high 60s. Yeah. So, the fact that, like, we can get it right now against a poor team in which Zach Wilson is not the quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> let's this do it. This is the like, time to play those on. Elijah Moore prop bets. We are not getting the line this once, good on Elijah Moore, Zach Wilson comes in, uh, it might not be the same. <laughs> All right, uh, no shocker here. I'm fading Tua. This one, though, I'm going. This, you could even be high on Tua, and this could still hit. Under 31 and a half pass attempts. I just don't see him. I don't see the McDaniel offense letting him throw 32 passes. I think this is going to be an ugly game down in Miami. And I, I mean, you look like Tua had a lot of games where he had like 25, 27, 28 uh, pass attempts. He just isn't a guy they open it up a bunch. And I mean, look at the Kyle Shanahan offense. It's all about, you know, these read option stuff. And I, I don't know, like, I, I just don't see a ton of pass attempts, right? You well, on board Kramer? No. Sure. You what? You think I'm crazy for 31 and a half pass attempts? No, I, I, I don't, I don't like to fuck around with the pass attempt market. Yeah. I, I just, I think it's a game script thing. Like, I just don't think they're going to be throwing a bunch. All right. Uh, I like you got, that you found an under. What do you What do you got next? Overs only. I already gave out a second one, so I'll let uh I'll let Dalton go. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit an under just because you said uh, overs <laughs> only. DeAndre Swift under 51 and a half rushing yards. I like that. In 13 games last year, he hit this under in 11 of them. Mm. And here's one of the things: Jamal Williams is st- still probably going to be involved yeah. in some way, shape, or form. He only had Swift only had two more rushing attempts the entire year in the same amount of games as Jamal Williams. 
And DeAndre Swift, like his advanced metrics weren't exactly the greatest. He's 55th in true, uh, true yards per carry last season. The Eagles are four-point favorites in this game. Um, the Eagles had an average rush defense last year. But, Sean, you know who Jordan they drafted. Davis. They got Jordan, Jordan Davis. Davis now. Oh. He's going to clog that lane. And again, Dalton I, does content well. He did that all just to, <laughs> just to get you to say Dalton or uh, Jordan Davis ex- excited. No, he, wants to, he wants to hear the dog sound effect, right? Oh, yeah, I, was, I hit the over on the dog sound Genius. effect. Seven and a half. <laughs> Genius. Uh, speaking of my Eagles, give me A.J. Brown over four and a half receptions. This to me, again, is just a volume thing. They're going to, you know, a bunch of slants over the middle, easy stuff to set him up for some catch and runs. And. I, you know, he was the leading, by all account, with all the beat reporters. He was getting the most targets in, in training camp. Uh, you know, the, the connection he has with Jalen Hurts. The fact that he said he's ready to go to war for Jalen Hurts. You're going to give your, you know, loyal soldier, A.J. Brown, the ball. Like, I mean, Are we convinced... worried about a bee sting maybe before the game? Bee sting? No. I guess he got stung by a bee and he's allergic. Chipotle also is Who? a kryptonite. A.J. Baby. Brown. Oh, I didn't see he that. He had to take an EpiPen at practice the other day. Oh, wow. Guy kept practicing. I'm just, I'm just saying, are we, you know, he, he, it sounds like a bee can take him down. I don't no. know how tough he is. A bee, maybe, but what not, kind of war not, do you want not him D, to? Certainly. Uh, AJ Brown all day over four and a half receptions. Probably Kramer. also allergic to peanuts. Uh, Saquon Barkley over 12 and a half receiving yards. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that, I, I, even I mean, as a Saquon <laughs> hater, that feels low. Where does this number uh, re- originate from? He's going to catch, trust me, the one thing I'm certain of is Barkley's going to catch a number of passes. On, on on Sunday, so now D- Daniel Jones, when he was when him and Barkley were both healthy, did he check it down to him? Because I I don't remember that a ton in my. What head, offense but... are we referring to? I I haven't seen the, the I haven't seen Brian, the Dan Jones you... experience. I have not seen Mike Kafka and Brian Dable's love child of Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen, well, aka that, Dan that, Jones and, and Bills. If they had. Uh, Brian Dable last night, maybe they win uh, 34-10. Like, what's the, what's the Dable? Are you worried now that Josh Allen just might be good and it's not Ken all Dorsey, Brian Dable? Ken Dorsey does not seem to care about his franchise quarterback and his well-being. He's not going to make it this season <laughs> playing like that, bottom line. And, uh, you know, Rams just laid. That was more about the Rams than it was about the Brian Dable-less Buffalo Bills. <laughs> Dalton, what do you got? <laughs> I got an Eagles one here. Oh, Let's go. Jesus Christ. Positive or negative? It's positive. All right, now you're good. I'm on the over train with you guys here. Devonte Smith over 44 and a half receiving yards. I don't know. Yes, I don't know why this line. Why is this a line? He yeah. At, at the end of last year, his line was like 55 and a half. Yeah. So they bring in AJ Brown. He should be more efficient because AJ Brown is there, taking away coverage. He was still efficient. He was a great prospect coming out. Yeah. High pick, and he performed extremely well last year. 53.9 yards per game. Um, I am fully in on the second year wide receivers being undervalued in week one because the market hasn't adjusted to how good they are. These guys tend to, from year one to year two, see like a 20% increase in production. So yeah. and, why, you're, and you're getting the same, you're getting last year's lines. Right. And I also think the <laughs> Eagles are going to end up passing more than they did last year. Exactly. So he was getting those numbers, um, you know, in a run heavy offense. And now I think they are going to transition to more passing. So even if the efficiency stays the same, you would expect it maybe to make a nice little jump up because of A.J. Brown because of the second year. Even if it stays the same, he could probably get there off the volume. 100%. Kramer, how many How many you got? I got two more. Okay. All right. I'll uh, give out yours. Give out your fourth here. Well, Lamar Jackson. Contract didn't get done, Sean. No, betting Lamar's on himself. hungry. <laughs> Lamar, anytime, plus 125. Bet it now. It won't be. It will be minus. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. It will, it will be minus by Sunday, almost certainly. I mean, Lamar is really, it does feel like an FU mode, and I, I feel bad for the Jets. Anytime touchdown, plus 125. Genius play right there by me. Uh, <laughs> congrats, right? Uh, Aaron Rodgers, over 257 and a half pass yards. He's, he's gone over this a number of times against the Vikings. He has 6,800 career yards against the Vikings, which wow. is insane. Um, I, I just think without Zimmer, this, the Vikings passing defense isn't going to be as good. And, again, you're in a dome. Like, I know they're going to want to get the running backs involved, but I think it's, it's going to be a lot in the passing game. So give me uh, Aaron Jones – or, sorry, Aaron Rodgers over 257 and a half passing yards. What about, what about you, Dalton? What do you got? I can't wait to see the smile on your guys' face once I put this one out here. <laughs> Trey Lance to throw an interception. Yes. Plus 110. Yes. I, I know we've been yes, arguing sir. all offseason. I get, I get texts from you guys. Any negative thing that happens to Trey yeah. Lance, 
He goes 415 in training camp. <laughs> he doesn't become a captain. Yep. I know we weren't going to mention it on here, but um, you guys kind of brought it up first. And here's the thing is, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, thought, I thought this would be fun. But also at the same time, I legitimately think it's a good play. And here's why. is, is He started as a quarterback in 10 quarters. He had 11 interceptable passes. Yes. <laughs> For example, Aaron Rodgers the entire season had 14 interceptable mm, passes that's bad <laughs> like he's erratic like we don't think he's gonna pass a ton but for somebody like trey lance he's so high variance like he can throw a deep bomb i remember i remember sitting there at the fantasy football expo yes. <laughs> and uh we go we look at the screen oh. and he threw a 75 yard that was a good that was, it, it it was a great throw exactly i'll give him that so uh but again this is competitive football and we haven't seen him in like competitive live action in really long time. Was that the nicest thing you've ever said about Trey Lance on the show before? <laughs> yes. yes. Somebody Probably. clip that. <laughs> well, I, I, I would be worried that maybe Shanahan won't let him throw it all. Is that a possibility? A Mac Jones three a pass attempt game? They might not need to pass to beat the Bears. I like it, it's a legitimate outcome. All right. What do you got? One what, more? Yeah. What's your last one, Ryan? Aaron Jones anytime touchdown. Yeah. Like same thing. I mean, we're hearing the news about Lazard now is. Sounds like he's going to be out for a while, or at least going to be hobbled. Like high ankle sprain, rut row. That's so, horrible for receivers. So, so Romeo, Romeo Dubs, Christian Watson, even Randall Cobb, like those are guys you oh. should have on your bench as like dart throws or even late round uh, best ball guys. Right? I have Randall Cobb in a DFS lineup. Yeah. Fortunately, I set before I came to the horrible state of Nevada that doesn't let you update <laughs> your fucking DFS lineup. It but. is it is brutal. Um, hopefully Trey McBride plays. That's all I got to say on my <laughs> DFS lineups. Uh, for me, Ryan, you know how we do this on the podcast. Dakota Rain Prescott under one and a half passing touchdowns. Did you see the way he answered the question about him missing prior, being limited? No, and, and, and bring up what is the latest stuff with this like late DAC injury stuff? I haven't even... Uh, he was limited in practice, but he... And it didn't seem like a big deal, but he reacted like yeah. it might be a big deal. So I don't, I don't know. And again, I don't think that... Who's their know, left tackle, Sean? It's a great question. I don't know. Like, I, maybe they try and start Jason Peters. If not, they, they've been training this rookie the entire time at left guard, and now you're going to have to make left tackle... You know, the, the Bucks, as much as the weirdness with Tom Brady, that defensive line's still going to be really good. Like, yeah. Todd Bowles against some backup offensive linemen, I think they're going to scheme up uh, some nice pressures for him. I think they're just going to have trouble passing the ball, period. Yeah, and honestly, I, we'll get to it later, but I love the idea that Dak is going to dump off a ton of passes to Tony Pollard. Like, no, there's, there's, a, there's a, like, check down world where he racks up a bunch of stuff, but I'm going to bet against the passing touchdowns. For me, it's just, hey, roll coverage to CD Lamb, and then let's see what you can do to beat us. Yeah. and Because I think the pressure is going to get there. Uh, Dalton, what's your fifth one? My last one. It's a long shot because I love long shots. Let's go. Elijah Mitchell to have the most rushing yards on Sunday. Oh, Ooh. 23. Total. Wow, really? Ooh. All right, let's get, Sean, we're, let's co-sign that one. <laughs> yes. 20, really? That's crazy. Yeah, so 23 to 1. It's crazy. He's healthy. He's healthy last year. He had... Three weeks in which he led the league in rushing for that day. Uh, one of them was the playoffs, but he was also fifth as a rookie in rushing yards per game, and like sixth place was like 11 rushing yards per game behind him. So there's like this tier, right, where we have Jonathan Taylor, we have Derrick Henry. Those are the elite guys that yeah. every single week are going to be um, in the, in the running. Part. And then it's Nick Chubb, Dalvin Cook, and Elijah Mitchell right there. Yeah. Seven-point Eli favorites against the Bears. I mean, Elijah Mitchell's yard per carry was insane, and then – the backfield behind him seems pretty muddy, right? Like, we had heard rumors, oh, Trey Sermon's going to be the backup. Then Trey Sermon gets cut. Jeff Wilson's the back. I mean, it's yeah. not, you know. And then maybe TDP. I don't know. If, I don't no. even know if he sees the field, right? Jordan Mason. The thing is, the, the Bears also were 26th last year in explosive run rate allowed. So, and it's a lost, great matchup. Yeah, Hicks is gone. Yeah, right? I mean, like, exactly. And we talked about, too, like, you, we you don't need to say anything thing. negative about the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> we, we talked about the, the Lance thing and maybe like limiting him a ton, but it also feeds into the idea that Elijah Mitchell in a game that could be positive run script against a very bad team, and he was like actually good last year. Like, I think this is a little too long. And it was wild. The end of the best ball season, like he was miss, missing time from with like various injuries, and he he began to drop and drop, and you know, much like we were discussing with Henderson, like you Mitchell was like a good like six, seven, eighth round guy. Um, yeah, that's a crazy. I, I, I got to bet more props this week. <laughs> I, I, there's just so many amazing opportunities. I mean, there are an, a ton of amazing opportunities, Ryan. And 
What about the opportunity to sign up for Fubo TV? Oh, nice job. That's right, Fubo TV. If you're a football fan, and of course you are, who isn't a football fan? And especially who's who isn't? Imagine watching the show if you weren't a football fan. Uh, fo- Fubo, I may, they may as well call it football TV. Fubo TV hooks you up for college and pro football, NFL Red Zone, uh, games in 4K at no extra charge. Over 100 channels of live sports entertainment for the fraction of the price of cable plus this thing's awesome the cloud-based dvr you can take your shows uh games wherever you go right now you can try fubo tv free for seven days and get 15 percent off your first month just go to fubo tv.com slash sgp that's f-u-b-o tv.com slash sgp we are also brought to you by our good buddies promo guide.us that's right Promo guide, you're looking for value. You're always looking for value, right? As a better. And again, promo guide.us helps you increase your bankroll. Biggest bonuses from all the best sports looks in the country. We're talking thousand dollar risk free deposits, insane odd boosts, and most importantly, the best analytics in the business. They got a ton of free picks as well. Promo guide.us is your guide to betting smart. Once again, that, that's promo guide.us. And of course, we're also brought to you by Sleeper. Sleeper with their brand new over under, it, it's awesome. Like if you're in a sleeper fantasy league right now, open it up and you'll see the over unders uh, for your players in your matchups right there. It's super fun to play 2x all the way up to 20x. Sleeper.com slash SGP. You can copy our picks. Um, it's a group chat. You can talk a little smack in there. And sleeper.com slash SGP. 100% deposit bonus up to $100. And we actually have some uh, plays here for Sleeper. Kramer, I'll let you... But real uh, quick, uh, only 78% of people are playing the over for Derrick Henry's rush yards. Really? I'm just... It even shows you that. Oh, in wow. The, that's I'm great. looking at the live, like, scoring in Sleeper for our fantasy league this week, and it just gives you your prop opportunities right there. Of course, everyone's going to bet the over for their players. It's fucking genius. <laughs> it really is genius. It really is. All right. I got some, I got some bangers here. Let's go. Uh, you know, I left them off the, the props, too, because some of them just are so juicy in here. I'm just going to read off uh, these, these beautiful five plays you can take. Of course, all overs. <laughs> no, I'm not a hater. Never been an over you didn't like, Ryan. All right, Michael Carter, we're seeing the news. He's a big part of the offense. Over yeah. 12 and a half receiving yards. The, the guy who we're playing in our ETH uh, Fantasy League, Ryan, hopefully he doesn't listen to the show, but have you, have you seen this guy's lineup? Right now, he's Brees Hall starting. What is he doing? I, I'm Brees Hall will get some points, but I like Michael Carter to go over 12 oh, and a half yeah. receiving yards. Trubisky over 19 and a half rushing yards. I think there's some quarterbacks that maybe have depressed rushing numbers. Uh, he's going to be running uh, as part of this offense. And to, to parlay it with another Steeler, Najee Harris over three and a half receiving or receptions. Oh, that one's nice. I, I feel like Najee doesn't get down. the uh, credit he's, he deserves as a pass catching uh, RB. His numbers should be closer to four and a, I would imagine four and a half or even five. Uh, with the amount of catch, with the amount of targets he's going to see, I also have Daniel Jones to go over twenty and a half rushing yards. I'm sorry, Dan Jones. And then the last one, Sean, you're going to hate this one. Mm. Antonio Gibson over fifty eight and a half rushing yards. Now maybe that's a volume thing because you know who what, else is getting to carry? Yeah, McKissick. I think maybe still involved in the passing game, assuming his groin is okay. But uh, Jags weren't weren't exactly the toughest run defense. So no, uh, those five overs will get you sixteen to one. Wow! If you want to copy my contest, oh my I did twenty five to win four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what do you got? What do you got, Dalton? Sleeper wise. Uh, let's put something together here real quick. All right, I'll let you. It, I'll it let won't you let you. That up. Yeah, you got to use your phone. Okay. It, it, I, I'm very disappointed in the fact I can't do it on my computer. I'm, a, <laughs> I know, I'm, a, I'm an old on. guy. I Come don't, on, sleeper, we're mobile. boomers. Uh, all right, so for me, I got a three teamer. Ryan's making me feel uh, like a real pussy here. Only, I'll, I only put three, but I love these three. First up, Baker Mayfield over 19 and a half completions. Hmm. I think he's going to get a bunch of easy stuff. I mean, Christian McCaffrey could have 10 catches. So right there, you're, you're in double digits. I mean, don't you see him just checking down a bunch? Uh, DJ Moore. Baker doesn't check down. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I like the idea. Baker that, wants to fuck the, the Browns so hard. Well, and I think, I, dude, I just think Christian McCaffrey is going to just get give me one line. night <laughs> with those motherfuckers. Like, this is the dream scenario for a guy like Baker. And, you know, he's got the better squad. Is yeah. that a hot take? No, I, I mean, again, uh, I, didn't fi- I didn't know this nugget, Ryan. We, we keep talking about the Colts and their 
ability to mess up opening uh, weekend. The Browns have lost 17 in a row opening day. How am I just wow. hearing this nugget? That's a real thing? Yeah. And they were favored by four and a half in the summer. Had you listened to us on yep. May 14th, live from this studio, you would have heard us say... Early NFL week one lines. Please go bet minus or plus four and a half for the Panthers. Yes. Uh, this one I also like. Matt Ryan, under one and a half passing touchdowns. The latest, I, I need more Texans exposure, Ryan. The latest pro Matt Ryan news <laughs> that I'm hearing is that all of the players for the Colts are so complimentary. He's so much better than Carson Wentz. And it's like, wow, talk about a, the ultimate backhanded compliment. Well, I, I so think, much better than Carson Wentz. I think Jonathan Taylor uh, will get the red zone stuff. And I... I, I I'm just out of my like mind. It. And I think Houston's defense is going to su surprise some people, especially with Stingley. So, um, love Matt Ryan, under one and a half pass touchdowns. And we also gave out that nugget of uh, Lovey Smith as a, as a home division dog. He's, dog. he's pretty good. Last one, Aaron Jones, over 36 and a half receiving yards. I mean, I think there's a world where, again, he is the number one receiving option in Green Bay, I think is – in the realm of possibility. And I, and I just think there's going to be a ton of opportunities against this Vikings defense. He's running go routes, guys. Yeah. Go routes. I mean, with all their injuries to the receivers, I wouldn't be surprised if he's, you know, split out to the side as a wide receiver, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got, got a Yankees fan looking in here. What's go up, Yankees, Yankees fans? Uh, all right. Do you, you got any, uh, you got any sleeper yeah. plays you want to give out? Right, uh, I, got, Dalton? I got a couple. I'll, I'll do, I'll do a two legger. Okay. And this go. is in the same game. All right. Jacoby Brissett under 206.5 passing yards. Just throw up in my mouth a little bit. And then we're going to go in the running game, Nick Chubb over 74 Ooh. and a half rushing yards. So we're going to fade the pass game, go for the running game. The Panthers have gave up the fourth least passing yards last year. Jacoby Brissett has hit this under in like 65% of his games in his career as a starter. Nick Chubb has also uh, going against the Panthers, in which it gave up the sixth highest um, explosive run rate against running backs. Well, year. I like it because Jacoby Brissett on the road sucks. They have yep. very limited pass catchers. Maybe Amari Cooper, but even that. Um, Njoku, he's going to. Njoku, his, I guess. His catch props, interesting. Yeah, but I, I like the correlation there. All right, going to close things out with a Sunday night. Build your own bet over on win bet. And who do we like? First touchdown for the Sunday night game. Before we get to that, have you signed up for our NFL Survivor Contest? I'm talking to you, Dalton. Dalton, have you got <laughs> in? All you got to do is go to play. Huge overlay, Dalton. Come on. Massive overlay because we're giving away uh, partnering up with Run Your Pool. We're giving away $500 cash and a $250 gift certificate to the SGPN store. All you got to do is go to play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. That's play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. Pick'em, Survivor, Fantasy. Kramer and I are really tempting fate. We are taking the Panthers as our Survivor pick. It's a long-term strategy. you got to go onions early because you're never going to – if you go with the chalky stuff, you're going you're gonna to run out late. Now, maybe in a smaller pool, like uh, – this is what we're doing for the Circus Survivor. Now, maybe in a, a slightly smaller pool like that we're running, maybe you don't need to be that aggressive. But, I mean, come on. Go big or go home, Baker. And uh, highly recommend a Run Your Pool. Great for contests. Uh, pick them, Survivor Fantasy Pool. They have you covered. Play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by Odds Trader. It is the one-stop shop when it comes to play-by-play uh, -play updates, live scores, bet tracking, player stats, game stats, game day weather. They got it all. All you got to do is go to oddstrader.com slash bluewire. That's O-D-D-S. Trader.com slash Blue Wire Odds Trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. Dalton, you look the, the look of shock on Dalton's face when we said we were taking the Panthers as our week one survivor pick. He should understand that as a as a, as a plus EV fella. Well, you know, an optimal roster construction guy. You understand that it's not it's not about any particular thing. It's the whole, you know, you're gonna be drawn dead week ten if you play play one week at a time, Here's bro. A I just, I just want to target whoever the Bears are playing. I think the Bears are going to be awful this year. That's one way to look at it. You know, it's like if you're going to – you have to use a good team at some point, right? So you might as well use them in a scenario in which they're playing a very bad team. Unless you think Trey Lance sucks, then, you know, you probably shouldn't choose the Niners. Uh, before we get to our <laughs> – <laughs> yeah. before we get I, I was going to say, you went into the chat? Because we got some chat to get up to. Yes, I uh, – I, Sean's not hearing any of it. 
I'm not hearing what. Oh, just any of this. Oh, the Bears anti, anti stuff. Bears. I, he I, thinks the Bears are in the playoffs. So yeah, Bears are, <laughs> Bears are going to be better than you think. Watch out. Um, all right, let's well, let's rattle off some of the uh, YouTube.com/slash Sports Gaming Podcast. Got a bunch of questions in there. Uh, Brand, uh, Braden Allen, Russ over half interceptions at Seattle. I don't mind that. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, don't want to bet against Russ. We like Russ. Yeah, I like Russ, but we took we took Seattle. I know. All right. <laughs> That's the situational thing. Uh, Julio Jones first touchdown. Research Flat Earth says that. Uh, that is that is pretty tempting. Ryan, can you pull up the price on that? Because I I have one that I have that's a longer shot than that. But the Julio Jones first touchdown is uh, pretty fun. Trevor wants to know how do we feel about Cordero Patterson anytime touchdown? I don't know. I I've stayed away from Cordero like fantasy wise just because I I can't we're wrap gonna, my head be- around his like rushing role. And whether or not he's a receiver or what's going to happen in that Arthur Smith offense now that they drafted Algier, like, I don't know. I just kind of stayed away from him. But anytime touchdown, that's interesting. Ryan, I know you're you're kind of higher on the Falcons offense than most. What would you think about a Cordero Patterson anytime? I think we're going to be reminded about how much of a badass football player Cordell Patterson is week one. He is a you dog. Know, a lot of his depressed stock is about, like, maybe he's not the guy by the end of the season again, like more projection than how he's going to look week one. So I, if I'm ever going to bet on him to, to score, it would be week one. I, come on, I'm, I'm big on the Fal- – I have the Falcons to win the division greater than 30-1. to 1, And <laughs> I gotta get, we got to get this parlay in, Sean. Yes. we got to find one. All yes, right. we still have to get our Steelers, Texans. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I like that bet. And the, the first touchdown for Julio, um, seeing 13 to 1. We'll okay. Call it. And, you know, I, I da- you know, w- w- we should talk about the build your own bet because I, I, I did some dabbling with Julio being in ooh, that as well. Ooh, we love that. All uh, right. What do, you, what do you got for the build your own bet, Ryan? Uh, so I went Bucks minus six and a half. And I really like the, the flat earth angle of Tom Brady is going to go ham because he's pissed off. Everyone's talking shit. It's yeah. very similar to my Kyler narrative of everyone. He's really mad that he got called out for something that was real. And now he's going to be laser focused. Uh, Tom Brady has a track record of doing this though. Uh, C deflate gate. So Bucks minus six and a half. Julio Jones to score a touchdown. Mm. Noah Brown to score a touchdown. And Tony Pollard to have 35 or more receiving yards. That's going to pay you 70 to one, Sean. Repeat, wow. Bucks minus six oh and a half. Julio Jones to score a touchdown. Noah Brown, Dallas's number two receiver, to score a touchdown. Really juice the odds up. And then Tony Pollard over 35 receiving yards. Yeah, you have um, 70 to one. Yeah, man. 70 to one? 70 to one. Oh, I like that. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Cowboys negative game game script combined with a Bucks decent win. Yeah. And I didn't go crazy. I didn't go North of seven, just six and a half. <laughs> uh, let me see. I had, uh, okay, here we go. I got Tampa Bay minus two and a half. Then mm. I have, um, which I, I wouldn't mind Puss. boosting it. I, <laughs> I was trying to redo it with six and a half because I knew <laughs> that was going to happen. And I can't figure this goddamn thing out. It's very easy. Trust me. It's on me. My brain is, <laughs> my brain is working slow. So we'll stick with two and a half. Um, Dak to throw a pick because, hey, fuck Dak. And again, I still like this Tampa Bay defense. Like, well, why would the de- Tampa Bay defense take a step back? I, I just don't see it. And I think, you know, his receiving options are noticeably worse. He's going to be feeling pressure. And I think he's right in the mix there to throw a pick. Last but not least, I, I like this bet solo as well. Uh, as making it part of the build your own bet strategy, but the Tampa Bay Bucks to win both halves of the mm, game. The old double result. That is plus 300 in and of itself over on WinBet, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. But putting all three of those together in a win build your bet, plus 1296. Mm. And you got the 12 in there for TB12, Ryan. That nice is just work. good yeah, gambling mojo. And speaking of uh, Dalton Cates, you, uh, you're also uh, working with Mojo now. Why don't you tell us about that real Ooh. quick? Yeah, Mojo is the new sports stock market we are launching in Jersey uh, the 19th. We have done some soft launch right now. Essentially, it is where you can invest in players. If you like a player, you like Dan Jones, you know, I can invest. I can buy a share of Daniel Jones Hell yeah. as he performs well. That share price goes up. You don't like Trey Lance. You know what? You can short Trey Lance yes. 
And then is he has a bad I'm game. Worried, I'm worried if I short Trey Lance, there's going to the SEC is going to come in and be like, this guy must have had inside information. How, <laughs> how could he know that Trey Lance wasn't going to be a good quarterback just because the team re-signed Jimmy G, the, the players in the locker room didn't believe him enough to make him his own captain. Uh, he looks like dog shit at times. How could he know? He must have inside info. You know what's crazy? Last night, Cam Akers dropped 18% on Mojo just from last night based off of his three carry, uh, no rushing yards game. So it's it's live as it happens. The game happens. You can buy, oh. sell, you know, whoever you want. I whoever. was gonna, I was gonna, I had a sweet uh, Cam Akers owners had a soft launch last night. Joe coming, <laughs> then, he, then he brought up Cam Akers, so now it feels awkward. To, all right, so yeah, I mean, I, I saw the the tweet about Cam Akers stock price. Maybe time to buy the dip. Maybe. No, I don't. Are we buying the dip? I mean, Cam Akers would have to get super cheap for me to be buying in. I hate running backs. You know that. Yeah, (laughs) I'd rather get Dogecoin right now than uh, (laughs) fucking Cam Akers. Rebuy the dip on Doge. Uh, Dalton, do you have a? You got anything going for a win? Build your own bet. Yeah, I saw something up over here. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Fire it up. All right, we got Dak Prescott, thirty or more completed passes. Wow. So last year when they played, 58 pass that attempts. That is a disgusting act. <laughs> Sorry, Dalton. Joe Buck had a chime in. Uh, also, the Buccaneers uh, were one of the top rushing defenses last year. When the Cowboys played a top 11 rush defense, Dak Prescott averaged 45 pass attempts. I Shout out that. to Elliot Christ for that stat because mm. I thought that was very interesting. They got, when they're playing a, playing a pass funnel, defense they just tend to lean into the pass and pass a little more so i'm also parlaying that with 85 or more receiving yards for cd lamb i don't know i think jalen tolbert's not going to play as much as we think noah brown really hasn't had much production of it it's really dalton schultz cd lamb and then like pollard and zeke in the receiving game and then mike evans 75 or more receiving yards without godwin potentially playing um russell gage is also like questionable to play so we there's there's a lot of questions there mike evans when out without those guys should be there, and you can get that uh, eleven to one. Ooh, mm-hmm. let's go! Responsible. Uh, shout out to Bills Mafia DJ ninety two. Jameis most passing yards on Sunday, oh. uh, twenty five <laughs> to one. Uh, <laughs> yes, we got we, we to gotta, we gotta walk over to the counter on that one, Ryan, because that is. I mean, I I like Jameis most passing yards for the season at forty to one, but much small. Uh, he's only gonna do it in one game. <laughs> Now we're talking against uh, the Falcons. I mean, it's yeah in a plausible. dome. It's plausible, and that that could that game could get real interesting um, as far as like shootout potential. So closing things out here again. Check out our NFL Week One Picks podcast. Get into our uh, get into our NFL Survivor contest. You still have time, and our uh, free roll football contest for college and pro. Again, five thousand dollars up for grab, and a two nights stay at the win. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. All the sign up links in there and i know oh i missed opening night you wouldn't have got the opening night pick wrong or right you probably you would have already up, had the rams if you sign up right now yeah i will i will happily i'll discard my thursday night pick and i will stand with you even <laughs> at the start at the starting gate yes you and ryan you would be tied for ryan right now if you started the contest <laughs> So you ha- and you would be no, ahead no, of no 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 I'm I'm what do you mean I'm willing to throw away oh, my okay. Thursday night pick Brian is willing to take one for the team yeah. sacrifice it for the people who slacked and didn't get their team in in time uh, you still have a chance to go on a nice uh, little bit of a run here so sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash discord and just the uh, discord's awesome so uh, that thing is firing on all cylinders for me never a doubt first touchdown been circling this name for a long time forty to one. Cade Otten for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Love me. I mean, maybe he's even the starting tight end. We'll see what the Cameron Brait uh, split is there. I, I I love it. He he could be. You know, they're very high on him. Um, you know, Todd Bowles and uh, Brady. There's a lot of praise for Cade Otten. Forty to one for a Tom Brady tight end. Prime time. Let's go. I I uh, as you know, Sean. I I. One one man isn't enough for my unit. I like to chop it up four ways, spread it across four dudes, two yep. guys per team. K. Dotton was one of them. So quarter unit there, 40 to one. Mike Evans, uh, for everything Dalton said about oh. Mike Evans is also the clear favorite around the red zone. So yes. even though it's chalk, I'm going to pair the the longer shot K. Dotton with the chalk, eight to one. And then on the Cowboys side, uh, Dak is 20 to one. 
are we not paying attention to the rule of the running quarterback? I, that's that, that price. It's north of 10 to 1, so we're going to take it. Noah Brown kind of playing a backup tight, tight end angle here with Noah Brown. I think he's going to be on the field a decent amount, 19 to 1 uh, for his first touchdown. So wow, while, okay. while I, I don't expect him to see a ton of targets, I do. The Cowboys like to randomly go to the off guy. I mean, we what was it Gallup? I think uh, yeah. last year that scored the first touchdown, even maybe. So nineteen to one, Noah Brown, four guys banging out. Let's go. What about you, Dalton? What do you got? If there's a guy I'm gonna choose, we already mentioned it earlier. I'm all on Julio. Yes, Jones this I like year. that one. Yes, sir. Yes. So I think I think Julio Jones has a chance to have this massive like resurgence with the Buccaneers. So yeah, why why not? Every, every every report out of camp has been that he looks like the old Julio. And Tom Brady has this weird kind of vibe and aura around him when it comes to bringing guys who were like quote unquote past yeah. their primes back to life. Um, Leonard Fournette was almost left for dead, and then he comes back out. Antonio Brown was out of league for a little bit. He was balling out. Rob Gronkowski retired and then came back, and then you know balls out. So. Um, I'm all in on the narrative of Julio Jones bouncing back. So if there was one to do it, I would definitely go Julio. Yeah, I mean, Tom Brady, he's one of those guys, like, if you're one of his guys, you're going to get the ball. Like, he's very, he's very dialed in uh, that way. All right, man. Wow, we gave out a, uh, a shit ton of props. Hey, make sure you check out the NFL Picks podcast as well. College football picks, still plenty of time to download those, getting those in. The 32 NFL team previews, if you're just – uh, you know, traveling this weekend, whatever it is, catch up on all those awesome team previews. Still time. No Ryan, excuses. Find a way. We, speaking of finding a way, we will be live on air tomorrow, 8 a.m. Is that true? Yes. Oh Jesus. 8 a.m. Colby and Terrell will definitely be here. Yes. We'll, me, probable. Sean's very yeah. questionable. I'm, I'm going to show up, but Colby's <laughs> going to be hosting the college football pregame show. I'll be sitting in one of those lounge chairs yeah, and they, just taking pot <laughs> shots. Yeah, that's what me and, me and you will be in the chairs. <laughs> yes. Col Colby and Terrell. I told Colby, I go, dude, I'm not steering a college football show at 8 a.m. in the morning. I already had to wake up at fucking 7, 10 a.m. <laughs> Do you know what it's like when your alarm goes off like four hours? Like, I, you need more than four hours between being on a sweet blackjack run and uh, waking up to call into some guy's show on Zoom. It's like, oh, yeah. my God. So... Got that going. Look forward to that. Uh, you can see how hungover we will be tomorrow morning. And uh, Dalton, thank you as always for coming in. Make sure you follow Dalton on Twitter, at Dalton underscore Cates. Uh, check out Mojo as well. A lot of fun stuff coming there with the launch upcoming. Subscribe, rate, review, guys. Always appreciate that. Toss us a nice little uh, five-star review. Screenshot it. Uh, submit it in the app, and you got a chance to win $50 every Monday, a.k.a. Merch Monday. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Sean, I told you I wasn't going to go undefeated. Kramer, <laughs> let it ride.